Now both the laptop has been connected physically with the LAN cable. Let's proceed with the second part. Okay, now to configure the IP settings, go to the network and sharing center and then go to advanced sharing settings. Here, turn on the sharing option while turning off the password protection sharing. Once you are done, click on save changes. In the network and sharing center, go to IP version 4 setting of your local area connection and manually enter the IP. If you are not familiar on how IP works, stick to the settings shown in this video. Also, make sure that both PCs have same work group name. You can give any name you want. In this case, which is default, the name is work group or in upper cases. Okay, now you have to make similar changes to the second laptop, which is turn on the sharing option. While configuring IP of second PC, make sure to reverse the IP address and default gateway from the first laptop. and make sure workgroup name is same as the first laptop. Once we are done, we are ready to move to the next part and share our files. After successfully configuring the IP settings in the part 2, both PCs will be now shown under the same network. Now to share folder with other PC, right click and select share with specific people option. Add users and give permission depending upon your requirement. Once you are done, click on share button. Click on done and your folder will be shared on second PC. In second PC, go to network option and select the first computer name. Here you will find a share folder. Now you can copy these files to your hard disk or add a new file. The average speed of copying files ranges from 10 to 30 MB per second. If everything works well for you, you will now be able to share data between the two laptops using a LAN cable. But still, if you face any problem, you can always comment below and I will ready to help you. If you like my video and you think it was helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. Thanks for watching.